Okay, so let's talk about better comb and who it's for, who it's not for, uh, what, what will be the purpose of spending the money to buy it because it's not cheap. Um, and for me, I think that the people that we're gonna, are going to get the most use out of it are going to be new beekeepers. And the reason for that is new beekeepers don't generally have a lot of drawn comb that they can use. Better comb gives you a big advantage because you can just embed it into a frame, put it in the hive, and then use it right away. Uh, you don't have to wait for them to draw out foundation. You don't have to wait for them to draw out the comb. If you're going foundationless or you're using wax foundation, whatever you're doing, you don't have to wait for the bees to, to do it. So there's a time thing and then there's a resource thing. You don't have to use all those resources uh, to build the comb. All right, everyone, let's talk about what you will need to complete this project. So obviously you need a frame. You need the better comb. You're going to need a drill with a drill bit. On the drill bit, just get one that matches the size of the eyelets that you're using. You're going to need a hammer, pliers, a 12 volt battery, uh, and alligator clamps, uh, 16 gauge 5 8 inch nails. Um, I use specifically. these linoleum nails and then you need 24 or 26 uh, gauge galvanized steel wire I got this all this hardware at Lowe's the, the eyelets I got on Amazon and that's it all right so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through step by step and we're gonna embed a uh, better comb into one medium frame on video so that you can see how it's done. Okay, so I've got some better comb here in my hand. This is, a, this is medium uh, for Honey Super. And I will just tell you right off the bat, I used this last year. I used better comb in the brew chamber and I used better comb above a queen excluder and a Honey Super. And they filled them with honey, they filled them with brew. They used this just like they used any other comb. I've heard some people say that they won't use it to store honey. Uh, but I have no issues with that. I have a whole super, eight frame super full of these and they, they use it, all of them. Um, the, back, going back to the, the, the first year beekeeper or the new beekeeper that doesn't have, I don't even have a lot of drawing coming in my second year. Um, but if you want to get a, a honey harvest in your first year, this is going to be the best way to do it if you don't know somebody that's going to be able to give you some comb. Um, let me toss this down real quick. Let me show you this. So this is a pre-wired uh, better comb frame. This is a deep. Um, you can see it's a better comb here at the top and it's got the wire. So this is exactly what we're going to be doing to our frames because these are, I think, are a little over $4 per frame to buy them already uh, wired like this, which is really expensive. You can get, you know, it's about a dollar a frame to get them unassembled um, from my local store so let me show you these on camera up close so you can kind of see what we're going to be doing and I'll cut right back in. Okay so I'm back as you can see this is a deep so there's one two three four uh, strands going through there it's all one wire so what you do is you put a nail right here in the frame you wrap that steel wire around the nail then you drive the nail into the wood then you put the string put the uh, steel wire through this hole Come down, around, back through this hole, down, around, back through this hole, down, around, back through that hole, and then you end back on the same side with another nail, as you can see right there. So you wrap it, nail that in, cut off your excess wire, and then you're going to put your battery and take your leads. You're going to put one here and one here because that's each end of the wire. And then you're going to put the other sides of the leads on that little 12 volt battery and it's going to make these steel wires warm and then you can just put that better comb onto a flat surface and then just set this over top of it and lower it onto it and the hot wires will melt into that comb and then once you have the depth that you want you've got it set you take the leads off and allow it to cool it, it happens pretty quick these cool off and then you'll see that wax start to dry around it and then the comb is embedded into the frame. 
All right, so now that I've kind of explained the process, I'm gonna go ahead and do it on video from start to finish so that you guys can see how it's done. All right, so as you can see here, these frames that I bought from my local B store were pre-drilled, but they are not big enough, the holes, to get these eyelets in there. So I'm gonna to have to drill a hole. Like that, flip it over. Drill a hole. Drill a hole. Okay. And the idea behind that, guys, is the spacing for this, it's a medium, so we just need two wires. You just want to basically take this and divide it into thirds whenever you're measuring it so that these holes, there's an even amount of space from here to here as there is from here to here and here to here. So just use your tape measure, measure this total distance from top bar to bottom bar, the space in between, and then divide it by three, and then that's how far you'll measure for each hole. So that'll give you your even spacing that you need. All right, let me get these nails and this uh, steel wire opened up and then I will be right back. All right, so I'm gonna grab a nail and my hammer. And it doesn't matter exactly where you put the nail. I usually just put the nail somewhere right above that first uh, top hole, closer to the top bar. And I'm gonna get it started, but I'm not gonna hammer it all the way in. Come on. It's hard with these short nails to get them started. There we go. You wanna get it close to flush, but don't flush it yet because we need to wrap wire around it. And then I'm gonna do one more nail just below this other bottom hole here. So below that bottom hole, like right in between the, the bottom hole and the bottom bar. little gap there. All right, so now we are going to grab our wire and start threading it through. So I'm gonna thread it through. Actually, hold on, I'm skipping a step, guys, sorry. We need to put our eyelets in. So go ahead and put it into the hole like that. And what that does is it keeps the steel wire from digging into the uh, wood and it'll loose, if you, if you allow that to happen, when you go to pull tension, it'll start cutting into the wood and you'll lose tension and you want these wires to be pretty tight. Okay, so let me put these other two in. They don't stay in very good on their own, so they may fall out before you get the wire in there, but that's okay. Just make sure it's there. Kind of do them as you go, maybe. So I'm going to put that on, go through there. So what I'm going to do here is kind of measure that frame end to end. I think it'll be a little bit easier to go ahead and pre-cut the wire. So I'm going to give myself a little bit of overlap. So I'm going to measure it end to end like this, and then I'm going to fold that length back over on itself and then I'm gonna cut it. Giving myself just a little bit of excess to play with so I know I have enough. And then let me get this cut and I will be right back. All right guys, I've got that cut. I'm gonna go ahead and thread it through now. Just kind of straightening it out like this because it's been coiled up for who knows how long. I'm gonna wrap the end around this nail. Wrap it, wrap it, wrap it. Just a cup, two or three times is fine. And then I'm gonna hammer it the rest of the way in. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna take this other end. I'm gonna thread it through the first top hole.
This isn't hard, guys. It is a little bit tedious. But it's worth the money that you save, in my opinion. And it gives you some experience with it. Okay, so I'm going to pull that as tight as I can against that. Okay. Come back through here. I need an eyelid on that end. Put an eyelid through this bottom hole. Make this turn, and then once I pull this turn tight, it should. So this is where the pliers come in handy. I'm gonna grab the wire and pull it tight. Snug it up there, just be careful not to rip your wire. We're not done putting tension on it yet. I'm gonna go through one more hole. I'm just keeping a little bit of pressure on it with my opposite hand. Okay. So now that it's all the way through there, through every hole, all the outs are in place, I'm gonna grab the wire towards the end here, make sure I have enough to wrap, and I'm gonna pull it tight, like so. And I'm gonna come up as I keep pressure. Now I'm pulling up, and I'm gonna wrap. Ah. So we've got tight pressure there. It broke though, so when you start to do that wrap, it'll try to break on you. Okay, so once you get one wrap like that, you can let go with the pliers and just kind of finish wrapping it with your hand like that. And then we're gonna hammer it in. All right, there we go. Let me show you the finished product. Okay guys, so here's the finished product. So you can see we got the eyelets. We've got the nails that I put in there. These right, This right here I wanted to show you, just take this and snip it off. This is just excess uh, from wrapping that nail. And then I drove the nails down and in. And then we have our two wires and they're pretty tight. Goes down to the other side. And the next step, we are going to put alligator clip here and one here, and we're gonna embed this comb. Let me get that set up and I'll show you how that's done. All right guys, so there's the frame that I just wired. There's the battery, the alligator clamps, and then the better comb. And there's something important I wanna show you about this. So you know honeycomb, when the bills beat it, or beat it, when the, when the bees build it, uh, they build it at an angle, okay? So whenever you put this better comb in, as you can see here, it's tilting slightly upwards, okay? So that upward angle needs to be pointing towards the top bar. So top bar's there. We're gonna take this upward tilt and we're gonna put it in there like this. Make sure you get that right. You don't wanna do it the other way. If you put it in there upside down, the, ba the bees may not use it. So I just wanted to take the time to show you that. The box that I'm using as a backer for this is just the better comb box that this uh, better comb shipped in. So we're gonna get started here. Uh, hook your red to your red, black to your black on the battery. <clears throat> on the wires, it does not matter. Just put one on one side, one on the other. And after you do that, you will fill the wires start to get warm and it doesn't take very long. Yeah, it's hot already, like really hot. Okay. So looking for that vertical uh, angle there, we've got it. So the top bar's up here. So I'm gonna take this and set it on there and just kind of give it a little light pressure. You gotta get to clear these, the top and bottom bars while also 
And don't worry about damaging it a little bit. The bees will reshape this and fix it. They did all that with the better comb I used last year. Any cells that got messed up in this process, they repaired with no problem. Okay, so now I'm gonna kind of pick it up and make sure, well, that clamp came off, hold on. Let me fix that. Okay, so what I'm doing here is just making sure that it's even on both sides, that the wire is pretty much in the middle and not just sitting on the bottom of the cells. And it looks pretty good. Okay, so now that we got that done, I'm just gonna take the battery clamp off. Okay, and it'll dry pretty quick. I like to kind of support it just a little bit while it's drying, but you don't have to. Make sure it's pretty even. And it dries pretty fast, okay. Let me show you this up close. Okay, so now we have our embedded better comb. You can see the wire through there. It fills up that space. So this is the part I was talking about. I had to kind of put some pressure and I damaged these bottom cells down here, but no big deal, the bees will fix that. I like to look at it from, so here's an example. You look at it from the top, there's, it's not even on that side and it's over on this side. So just kind of take it and even it out. So you just kind of play with it until it's in there. It doesn't need to be perfect. The bees will take care of the rest, really. You just get it in there. That's it, guys. It's that easy. I probably made that look a lot harder than it is. I've only done this one other time, and that was last year at the beginning of the year, probably middle of the season. Um, but it's how I got a honey crop my first year. So it does work. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. Hopefully I didn't make that look too difficult. It's really not that hard. Uh, once you get do, get going and you've done two or three frames, by the time you get to that 10th frame, you're going, you're going pretty quick through these. Um, if you want to get a honey crop on your first year, this is the way to do it. If you want to just boost your colonies, this is the way to do it. If you don't already have drawn comb, this is not going to be for your commercial guys or your guys that have, you know, 50, 100, 200 hives. They, those guys have a lot of drawn comb, but if you ask any, any seasoned beekeeper, they will tell you that comb, drawn comb is like gold. Um, and this stuff is expensive, but you know, depending on your situation, it may be worth it. It may not be worth it. So that'll just be a decision that you have to make for yourself. Um, I just wanted to make this video so that people knew how to do it. Um, and kind of tell you, you know, that it was successful for me, whether it was a brood chamber uh, or a honey super, the bees used it. They, they will, repair it, they'll reshape it, they, they do what they want with it. I'll let you know how it goes throughout the year and next time I get into the hive, when I come across some better comb in there, I'll pull it out and I'll show it to you so that you can see how the bees are using it. If you have any questions about it, guys, let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thank you.